Today, we're going to take a journey through new and exciting worlds, the worlds of virtual reality and augmented reality. Today, we hope to talk about and demonstrate in a kindergarten style show and tell, new, uh, new technologies, and I want to see if I can open your eyes and open your minds, not just to what can be done today, but what you can do tomorrow. So, we're gonna start with virtual reality. Virtual reality is someone else taking you out of the world that you're in, having you leave the world that you're in, and enter a new world of their making. Now, when I was a kid, I got to enter this virtual reality world through this device. <laughs> you just take it, put it up in your head, and suddenly I am seeing the majesty of the Grand Canyon, and I pull this down, and I see a different view. It's beautiful, and if I just change it out for another slide deck, I'm suddenly looking at the, the wonders of Rome. This, in three dimensions, this is virtual reality. But Google thought, you know what? That's fine. 60 years later, they said I have a new virtual reality, and they decided instead of using high quality uh, plastic, they went with cardboard. <laughs> this is a piece of Google Cardboard. That's actually what it's called. You just open it up, you flip it around, and now you drop your phone in here. And you have a Viewmaster with a little button and everything. But this, this uses your phone instead of a slide deck. And with that, I can go anywhere. I can set up different locations around the world or virtual worlds that you've never thought of before. I can do that all through this, this Google Cardboard. Now people said, well, that's kind of cheap and it feels weird, so Google decided to move a different route and they went with the Google Daydream. It has some padding to it, but it's still the same concept. You drop your phone in here, but they added one extra piece, a controller. With this controller, I'm not just looking at my world, I'm not seeing my world in three dimensions. I can move and interact with my world. I can use this controller to point at things, to select things, to interact with my world. This, with a controller, changed it from a 3D experience to a 3D world that you can walk through and interact with. Now, other companies have jumped on, on this world. So you have Microsoft, you have Acer, you have Lenovo using what is called mixed reality. What mixed reality is is just virtual reality. It is now a headset, and instead of using your phone, you're tethered to a computer by a long wire. So you can't really move around with it, but you're still transported to any world that someone decides you need to go to. With this, I can have you travel to, to Rome and experience the Colosseum and look around and see the Colosseum and people walking around you. But then I can transport you back to 100 AD, and you can watch a gladiator fight. You can go to Machu Picchu and see what people lived like back then and what, they, what the ruins look like now. You can pre-travel. Now, Google decided that wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do because with virtual reality, I'm leaving this world. And the fact is, I don't want to leave this world. I like the world I'm in. And so Google said we need to augment this world. Augmented reality means that I, have, I live in the reality that I'm in, but I augment it with additional information. So with this headset, these are called Google Glass. This is a computer. It goes to your phone, but I don't have a wire. And when I put it on, I have a screen right above my eyes. It's a small screen, but I can interact. I can work with the internet. I can use my head, move it up and down and go through menus. I can tap on it, double tap on it, swipe it forward, swipe it back. And I can interact with this even with my voice by saying, Okay, Google, open the internet. Tell me about the Eiffel Tower. And it will tell you about the Eiffel Tower. The problem with this is, although it's great, it is small. And this, this little thing right here is your battery. You get about a half hour. A half hour of, of full, uh, you know, just working with the internet is fine, but that's not enough. Microsoft went a different path. They decided that they wanted to go down the augmented reality path with this device. This is a Microsoft HoloLens. This is a full Windows 10 PC on your head. 
Now, it's no fun just for me to tell you about it. I think it's more important if you see this in action. And so I'd, I'd ask uh, one of my friends to come up. Syria, come on up here. Now, there will be technical difficulties because with any tool, with any technology, there's always issues. Um, very simply, uh, I want you to look around. Let's see. We're going to give it a second. What do you see? Oh, you see over here? There's a great right, white shark right there for you. There, there's, how about space? Oh, right down here. Here we have... It's an elephant. I, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course, right here we have some, uh, as, as very important, there we go. Yes, so, now, how do you interact with this? It's very simple. You can use your voice, but you can also use your hands, gestures. Take your hand, put it up like this, and pop it. You know, like this. That's called a blossom, and a Windows menu comes up. With that window, now, there'll be about a three to five second delay between what he sees and what you see. Now, there's, a, there's an icon in the center that says hollow engine. Do you see it? You're going to take your hand, you're going to put it like this, and you see a white dot. Yes. The white dot is your gaze. You change it by uh, moving your head, not your hands or your eyes. You put it on that little hollow engine and tap. There you go. It opens up a window, and I want you to put that window right over here. Okay. Go ahead and tap it again. With this, I'm augmenting your world. You are no longer limited to just a screen. You are now limited to whatever is around you. Your screen is the size of your environment. So, what do you know about car engines? Uh, close to nothing. Yeah, it's more than I know. <laughs> but I do know that that, do you see it? I do. That is a dual overhead cam, eight cylinder engine. I only know that because someone told me that. <laughs> I'd like you to say start engine. Start engine. That engine begins. You see the timing belt run. I would like you to walk around that engine because the fact is for you, that engine is there. It exists right here. Now slowly walk into the engine. Imagine how education changes now. I no longer have to bring you to a, a, a mechanics. I can bring the engine to you wherever you are in the world. I can put it out here and have you work with that engine. And I can break that engine and say, you must fix it now. You can hear that engine. You can work with that engine. Now, if you'd like to, say stop engine. Stop engine. It stops. Say exit demo. Exit demo. And that engine's gone. How does this change education? It allows me to now put anything in front of you. It allows a professor, a teacher, a, a, a mechanic, a, a surgeon to walk you through the human body. I can dwell into different areas and make that incredible journey. Now, what other kinds of journeys can we have? I said I'd, I'd be able to bring you to new worlds. Well, right over here, you'll see a window called Galaxy Explorer. Uh, right about there. I do not. You don't? Okay, go ahead and do a blossom. And is it on the bottom corner? Yes. Okay, tap that. Tap it one more time. An excellent student. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a second. And what do you see? I see the window, the Galaxy Explorer window. Okay, tap it. Okay, give it one more second. It's booting up. Because one window is over here, another window is over there. They can move it anywhere you want to. And she is now walking you through the galaxy. This is constellations. We should know more about our constellations. And I want to bring you to different worlds. Aunt NASA brings you onto the steps of Mars, onto the floor of Mars. And when you step, you see your footprint in that red dirt. It's an experience like no other. I can pre-travel anywhere I want to so I can say, that's where I want to go. I want to go there. I've been there, but now I can, I can happily go there. Go ahead and tap it. Start the world. Give it one more second. He's placing the galaxy. It's not just our solar system. Wow. It's our galaxy. Go ahead and find the solar system that's happened there. Floor, 
find one planet that you want to see or the sun, your choice. Do they want to see something? The sun. The sun. I want to see the sun from all different sides. I want to know about sunspots. I want to know about solar flares. I want to know about this interaction that I am going to get to go through. Does that make sense? Thank you very much. My question to you, what I'm going to charge you with, is how will this change what you do? You say, look, I deal in real estate, fine. I deal in design, fine. I flip houses, fine. We've all seen these types of shows where someone says, oh, well, wouldn't the kitchen look really nice and blue if we took out that wall and put this color cabinets? I don't know. With this, I can put you in there, take out that wall, show you those cabinets, and you can walk through the building with the new blueprints. You can walk through this area. I can have, say, you want to see this building? You want to build this new building? And you're in Los Angeles, and you're in Beijing. Both of you together can go into a building and walk through the fifth floor together. Simultaneously say, yes, that's what I want. That's what I want you to build. Build it. This changes the way that you do business. This changes the way that education works. Why do we need large-scale buildings for, for education if you can sit next to the person next to you from your house and their house, and I can bring you all into one room virtually? How will you, how will you change the way that you do the thing that you've done every day of your life? How will you change the way that you learn? How will you change the way you do business? How will you change the way you live because you have new tools that you understand better now? Thank you.